Good morning, folks. We have quite a few items to cover here today, including something I'm watching in the ocean, an incredible story about water, another weird story on Neptune, and a brand new article about micronova events on stars. Of course, we are starting with the last 24 hours on the sun, and we find there weren't any Earth-directed CMEs, but we did have filament eruptions on the limb coronal surges, and we had another M-class solar flare. It was impulsive. It's the type of activity we tend to see before bigger flaring returns to the active regions, sort of like an awakening process from these brief solar quiet periods. We have several sunspot groups we're going to be watching, and near the incoming limb we have some plasma filaments as well. We're going to have to keep an eye on all of it. Let's go right to the ocean temperature map. It's being used to puff the political propaganda on climate science, but there's something I'm going to be watching closely here in the near future. That cold patch just to the west of Greenland is the pathway for the Beaufort Gyre release, and I'm guessing that it's the coldest spot on the map because the gyre may have begun that release. We've known it was poised to happen, and perhaps it's happening now. Up next, very cool story about water. Not only does it discuss some fascinating impacts of water physics and how it supports life, but it details how fundamental physics constants may not be so constant and how they proved it with a simple cup of water. Up next, we're back to Neptune, where we've seen a major storm reversal, the disappearance of clouds, and now, according to the headline, the first dark spot seen from Earth telescopes. But that's actually not the weird part. Voyager saw a dark spot back in the 80s, but nobody has ever seen a bright white spot. It's a completely new type of feature, and the astronomers are pretty baffled. Chalk another one up for Neptune in the solar system shift. Last but not least, the Micronova. An outstanding article reminding everyone that the thing they said wasn't real, the thing that got us called crazy for several years, is in fact real. The best part is the honesty, because even while espousing their own opinions, this article, penned by the lead author of the original Micronova paper, clearly states they do not know for sure how these Micronova are triggered rare honesty from this side of science. I've gone ahead and added the Solar Micronova video to the link list below. It deserves to be there. We greatly appreciate your support. Check out those resources in the description box, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.